Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to have to be a little bit quiet because it's in the morning and I don't want to wake up any of my roommates here. But I'm going to do a bit of a quick review on a product that I got from the Lush store. This one is the Blousy Shampoo. It's supposed to be a gentle, non-stripping shampoo for bottle blondes, natural hair, but it's mostly geared towards people who color treat their hair or relax their hair, basically who do any kind of chemical treatment to their hair. Now I picked this up from a nearby Lush store, which happens to be at the St. John's Town Center, which I'm actually pretty happy about, since I don't have to travel a long distance anyway. But I did pick this up at a Lush store, because I was going there to go pick up another product from Lush, which was the Tea Tree Water Toner. And I'll do a review on that later. But I decided to pick this up because, well, I wanted to try something new. And the nice young lady over there recommended it to me since I do color, treat, and bleach my hair, of course. So I decided to try it. Um, here on the back. Now, I will tell you right away that this does not have any preservatives. So if you want to use stuff like this from Lush, you best use it very, very quick. Or you better be a frequent user of, their cer of certain kind of products that they have because these do not have any preservatives meaning that they will spoil very quickly so i'm not sure if you can see it but here's the ingredient list well okay well on the back is the ingredient list anyway on the back is the ingredient list and it also tells you more information about it and there's also a bit of information on the top of it the lid and it also says that you can bring this back and bring this back when empty. Bring about five pots of it back and you can get a free mask. And on top of that, this is what the product itself looks like. Don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but that's pretty much what it looks like. It's a very thick paste due to the amount of bananas in it. Now, I have to say, I intentionally picked this stuff up because I was kind of hoping I could get a nice moisturizing kind of product here. Unfortunately, that was not the case with this stuff. When it says it is a gentle non-stripping shampoo, it did the exact opposite for my hair. And I'm really sorry to say it stripped the crap out of my hair. I mean, the instant, I only use this stuff twice. The instant I slapped this stuff on, I could just, I can't really describe it, but I can feel this stuff actually just yanking out all the moisture, all of my natural oils, and pretty much just everything that was in my hair before, this stuff just yanked it out. And that was on the first wash. So, on the first, after I rinsed it out, my hair felt really weird, like somewhat stiff. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's because my hair isn't used to bananas. So I decided to shampoo again, like I usually do with any kind of shampoo. Nope. It did even worse that time. And by the time I even rinsed it out, my hair was, it was matted. It was super dry. And it was just starting to, and you know how if you have hair like me, it just starts to free form into straight up locks. That's pretty much the case with this stuff. And that's pretty much what it did. I'll leave it open for you so you can see. But um, that's pretty much what this stuff did. And this is only after two uses. I had to grab a the most moisturizing conditioner that I had on me, which happened to be the um, which was it? It's the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Moisturizing Conditioner. And I had to continuously slap that stuff on in order to make sure that my hair was completely detangled and completely moisturized. I had to actually leave on my conditioner for about 30 to 45 minutes to get it back into shape. That's how bad it was. So unfortunately, well I'll say this, if it can, when it comes to stripping out hair color, previously I had a blue color and if you didn't know, didn't know before then my um, previous video was a tutorial of how I added and how I bleached my hair and put on some blue color. When I shampooed with this stuff, I had on some blue color. This stuff stripped all of that color out. You see a little bit of blue in me now, but that's because I use Manic Panics Amplified Atomic Turquoise along with another color. So there's still a little bit of blue in there, but other than that, the color is severely faded. 
Now, if I just wanted something to wear, I would be more than happy to strip out the color. This would be it. I would strictly only use this just to strip out hair color and nothing more than that. But in terms of it being a moisturizing shampoo of sorts, I can't, I would say avoid this stuff unless your hair loves bananas or, and yes, this stuff does have a sulfate in it. So that's probably why. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to return this product back. I can't, I really don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just not good and I'm going to have to return this stuff back. I don't know. Maybe I'll trade it in for another Lush product or maybe I'll just return to get my money back. But that's my review on it. Uh, this one was a thumbs down. This one was a straight up thumbs down. It did not work for my hair at all. And I was very disappointed. So that's my review on the Blousy Shampoo from Lush. If you tried this stuff and it worked for you or if you have a similar story, leave it in the comments below. somebody's awake but if you tried it before leave it in the comments below if you want more from me please hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching more product reviews will come soon okay see ya